countrymen and lovers. Hear me for my cause and be silent that you may hear. Believe me for mine honor and have respect to mine honor that you may believe. Censure me in your wisdom and awake your senses that you may the better judge. If there be any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's, to him I say that Brutus' love to Caesar was no less than his. If then that friend demand why Brutus rose against Caesar, this is my answer. Not that I loved Caesar less, but that I loved Rome more. Had you rather Caesar were living and die all slaves than that Caesar were dead to live all free men? No, no. As Caesar loved me, I weep for him. As he was fortunate, I rejoice at it. As he was valiant, I honor him. But as he was ambitious, I slew him. There is tears for his love. Joy for his fortune, honor for his valor, and death for his ambition. Who is here so base that would be a bondman? If any, speak, for him have I offended. Who is here so rude that would not be a Roman? If any, speak, for him have I offended. Who is here so vile that will not love his country? If any speak, for him have I offended. I pause for a reply. None, Brutus, none! <laughs> then none have I offended. I have done no more to Caesar than you shall do to Brutus. The question of his death is enrolled in the capital. His glory not extenuated wherein he was worthy, nor his offenses enforced for which he suffered death. Here comes his body, mourned by Mark Antony, who though he had no hand in Caesar's death, shall receive the benefit of his dying, a place in the commonwealth, as which of you shall not. With this I depart. That as I slew my best lover for the good of Rome. I have the same dagger for myself. When it shall please my country to need my death. Live, Brutus! Live!